with all the talent in the Classic 8 this season, it seems like there's a game of the week every week, and tonight is no exception. Arrowhead, the number two team in the state D1 poll, hosting Waukesha West, the top team in Division Two. An overflow crowd in Heartland was sporting a lot of red, white, and blue in honor of 9-11, and the Warhawks fed off that emotion. Wolverine QB Connor Blunt is pulled down by Noah Harvey and Jake Powell for a big loss. They later miss a field goal. It didn't take long for the Arrowhead offense to get in gear. Nick Bastine turns it up the field, and he is headed our way. This covers 52 yards in all, Hawks in business. Johnny Duranzo calls his own number, and he backs into the end zone, 7-0 Arrowhead. But a fast answer from West. Here, Peter McCudden takes it in from four yards out. We are even at seven apiece. Next possession, the Wolverines try some trickery on fourth down, but the pass falls incomplete, and Arrowhead takes full advantage of the field position. Duranzo caps the march with this quick strike to Tyler Jones, 14-7 Warhawks at halftime. Third quarter, Arrowhead goes to the hurry-up offense, and it works to perfection. Bastine here with 14 of his 166 yards on the night. Here's a call you don't see too often, if at all. Bastine appears to score on this short plunge a few plays later, but Nels Anderson is called for assisting the runner into the end zone. Not a problem on this night for the Warhawks. Two plays later, Duranso to Andy Miller, who crosses the plane, arrowhead up 21-7. And that Warhawk momentum is hard to stop. Next possession, Duranso gets loose again. Even a face mask penalty can't stop him as he carries Wolverines for extra yardage. Later, it's Bastine capping the drive with his second score. Arrowhead with an impressive 35-7 pasting of Waukesha West as they continue their march through the Classic 8. Oh, you know, I think it's pretty big. You know, we always got things to work on. The team came out fast. You know, the, the goal this week was have more intensity than them. I thought we did that. West is a heck of a team. You know, it's uh, every game at every level tends to be just a, a dog fight. And this, uh, you know, the score's a little bit misleading. They just kind of uh, got a few at the end. They're, it feels good to beat them.